Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January, who you will marry or, you know, who you will end up with, even if you don't want marriage, your long-term partner. So for signs, we have Mars, Aries, Scorpio, Strength, Leo, Chariot, Cancer, and Gemini coming through. Could be an air sign, but Gemini specifically. So their energy. We have Mars, Trine, Chariot, Strength. So how this person perceives themselves, let's start with that. They, they're extremely strong-willed, um, very determined. And once they make up their mind, they're not someone who changes that easily. They see themselves as mentally and physically strong. They have a lot of energy. Um, so they do most likely like to work out. Um, whether that's through, you know, lifting, um, going to the gym, running, walking, whatever it is, they're active as a person. Some of them also like to travel with the Mars chariot. But movement is coming through here. They can have a hard time sitting still almost. There's a lot of energy here and they need to burn it somehow. Um, they can be quite sexual as a person as well with a strong sex drive. That's for a few of you. For how others perceive them, we have Numinous, Mystery, Sun, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So this may be a younger energy. Um, others perceive them as someone who has a lot of potential. You know, they're, they're coming through as youthful, young. So, you know, they have a life ahead of them they have uh, many options before them and it's almost as if they're in a place or position where they they can choose um whether that's career or romantically and more so getting work wise though they may be a student right now studying that is coming through or a few of you or it could be just work they have a lot of opportunities in regards to work. Uh, other people may have a hard time understanding them. They may be a bit closed off or private when it comes to personal matters. I'm not getting that's who they are generally, but perhaps in regards to money work, they can be a bit, you know, to themselves. But this is someone who's quite hardworking, slow moving in the sense this may start off as friends first for some of you but quite confident in their abilities is how others perceive them. So I'm seeing very nice, you know, innocent vibes coming from them. In regards to their heart space, how they experience and deal with emotions, we have Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. See, this is an area you can help them in cancer. <laughs> they may need your guidance because this is someone who may avoid emotions they operate more from the mind and this is someone who will they may dive into their work when there's something you know tough going on around them so it's almost as if they channel any anger aggression sadness into their work so they know how to channel their pain into you know perhaps creative works in which i think they're quite successful they could have a bit of a following online, but there's just someone who gets a lot of attention, and avoids emotions, and will, as it can be a bit workaholic. In regards to their mind space, how they demonstrate their intellect and their thoughts, is a very curious person. We have a Mercury Gemini, so they could have Mercury in Gemini. We have Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. So they have a lot of energy, mental energy, and they have no problems uh, communicating. And a very talkative individual. You know, this is someone who can strike up a conversation with a stranger. Um, they're quite confident in their to their intelligence, but also this is someone who can debate. You know, they 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 stand their ground when it comes to communication so if there is something that they don't like or you've crossed their boundaries they have no trouble in letting you know but this is an intelligent communicator so they 
they really do pick on cues, whether that's the verbal, non-verbal cues. They're very observant as a person. They have a lot of friends, I'm getting. They know a lot of people, acquaintances, that sort of thing. For their spirituality, we have Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles. So this is one area they could put more work into. I'm not sure they're the most spiritual person. You know, a lot of them are quite practical and very business focused. So a lot of their energy is going towards accumulating wealth. And as a result, they don't have time to develop that spirituality, perhaps. So that is also something you, if you're spiritual, it may be something you may introduce to them. So they're open-minded, they're curious, right? With Mercury Gemini, they'll be open to your ideas, that's for sure. Um, for their, your first impression of your person, we have Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, instant uh, sexual attraction. You'll love the per way this person looks with the Ace of Wands. This is passion ignited. But it's almost as if you may think that they have a lot of other people interested in them. That it'll be hard to get their attention. That you'll have to compete for them. There's competition. Is your first impression. Your life circumstances when you meet. We have Six of Swords, the Lovers, Three of Wands. You're traveling, I think. We have two cards talking about travel or distance here. It's almost as if you're looking for love. This may be long distance online for some of you. Because I'm almost getting seeking. And others of you, it's, again, travel. Movement is highlighted here. But it's a calm, peaceful period in your life. Three of Wands, Six of Swords. There's a lot of progression here, forward movement, optimism in regards to the future. So I think you're in a good space when you do run into your person. Their first impression of you, we have a world high priestess, beautiful. This is instant. You know, you were feeling it, they're feeling it as well. They'll see you as someone who's quite wholesome, complete within yourself. May be a bit hard to read when they meet you. A bit distant but that is what will intrigue them they'll want to know more about you if you're a feminine watching for a masculine i think it's masculine will pursue you um they will be the chaser in this scenario is what i'm getting for their life circumstances when you meet we have temperance ten of pentacles i can interpret this in two ways for some of you, they, they will be in another commitment when you meet. And for others of you, this talks about stability. Someone who's at peace with themselves, with their life, financially ex abundant, stable energy. There's nothing to complain about. They're content, complete within themselves as they're seeing you. So both of you are actually in very beautiful energy. Let's look at your oracles. So we have, let's start with this. We have a wish come true. Someone will possess all the qualities you've ever wanted in a partner. A dream come true. Yes. And I think you're searching for that as well. Or you're manifesting. You're putting those thoughts out there of what you want, what you're looking for, the qualities, characteristics. And I think you're manifesting this person wish come true that's extremely positive card in the deck we have intellectual affair <laughs> i'm not surprised there will be a strong intellectual bond a love influenced by logic over analyzing could be an issue yeah i'm getting this person can have be a you know air sun sign or they have strong air in their chart but intellectual affair makes sense this person you know they they relate to another over a conversation. I think they need to be intellectually stimulated with Mercury and Gemini in order to be attracted to the other person physically. So they need an intellectual equal 
because they are very intelligent. They operate more so from the mind space than their heart space. So that's something you'll bond over. And this can also, we have the books. So meeting through school, work, more formal setting for some of you. We have communication, healing. So again, you see how the vines are intertwining here, but we have distance here. So there's that element of travel again coming through, perhaps communicating online or text messages if one of you travels for work or something. And we have a romance, yeah, I think that speaks for itself. Very romantic union. This person will like to wine, dine, court you the proper way. They're a gentleman or woman. We have self-consciousness. So some of you, they can be maybe, or you, by depends. One of you may feel a bit self-conscious around the other. Makes sense when you're getting to know someone, right? There may be some insecurities coming through here. And we have hard to figure out. Falsehood. I think of Venmo activities. <laughs> They're so, yeah, very business focused. Strong air and earth in their chart, most likely. But. Yeah, I think they'll like to spend money on you. They'll gift giving, maybe a love language. But financially stable. They were showing through as coming through as the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, money is very important to this person. But with falsehood, I'm getting with self-consciousness. This person has a hard time letting their guard down sometimes. You know, strength, chariot, seven of wands is all held back energy. So not the most emotionally vulnerable. That is something that may get on your nerves at times or it may add to the attraction because it's this person comes across as a bit mysterious. You don't quite know what they're thinking with hard to figure out. Complex character. It's very intriguing. You both will find one another intriguing. Because they're seeing you as the high priestess. A bit out of reach, right? Some of you it's out of reach literally. Because the world can also signify travel. But let's get more with just the astrological cards for you, Cancer. We'll look more into their personality. Oh God, Mercury again. So Gemini, Virgo coming through. Seventh house, Libra. Venus. So Libra coming through again. Taurus. Pisces. Scorpio. Fourth house. Let's see what I'm getting. Pluto at the bottom of the deck. So again, Mercury seventh house. I think again that intellectual affair is coming through. So, you know, you could have a Mercury, strong Mercury sinistry in your chart. There's a strong intellectual bond here and that is something that will bring you closer you respect each other you respect one another's intellect and i think you have a similar viewpoint on life and at, you know a variety of topics and this is a relationship where you'll have a lot to talk about you know things are never boring with you and for most of the part uh, most of the time you do understand where the other is coming from and if there's any differences there is a you have an easier time um, compromising with one another because you just love one another you know that you don't want to hurt one another another that's not your intentions venus seventh house you guys bring a lot of 
balance harmony uh, to one another and there's just pure true love here um, I think both of you want this partnership um, you want to build a home together and I think your home will be quite beautiful quite aesthetically pleasing and I think you'll really like to decorate and build your home together that's coming through interior designing for some reasons coming through Pisces Scorpio is coming through for your person and I think they are quite emotional but they like to hide that it's almost as if they try to process their emotions through the mind and it doesn't work that way it may create some issues for them but a very homely person again with fourth house you know family their roots are very important they likely to be someone who's quite traditional so they'll want marriage kids and if that's what you want it's beautiful <laughs> that's coming through here but very harmonious uh, energy and a very well-loved couple coming through here as well um, cancer so other people will notice the energy between the both of you and i forgot to show you this is beautiful look at the bottom of your love tea we have intuitive insights. I want more moments with you. Spirit babies, love energy. Isn't that beautiful? So what I'm getting is a very spiritually protected, spiritual bond. Your person's not the most spiritual. I'm not sure they'll understand it. But it's almost soulmate or twin flame or whatever you believe in. You know, there is a strong intuitive connection here with Pisces. It's almost a telepathic connection. We had that with communication. Remember the vines being intertwined? I think once you meet, you'll find it extremely difficult to be apart from one another. You'll feel quite safe and secure with this person, Cancer. And this is fourth house is Cancer, right? So I think this is family is very important to you as is to this person. So that is something you'll This person can be very close to their mother that is coming through, which is interesting because I got that for uh, Pisces as well. But let's see if I can get, we'll get more characteristics here for your person, Cancer. You'll make a very good looking couple didn't i say this a gentleman courteous yeah i think you have similar values both of you perhaps a similar background or it's just the way what you think a family should be i think you you both are have similar viewpoints say if it comes to raising kids there's not much to disagree on there yeah similar viewpoints we have calm so <laughs> candlelight dinner i think it was you that we had romance right yeah and we have venus so this person will really like to be seen with you um but just romantic sensual energy going out with you dinner dates, planning sweet little getaways with you. They'll they'll be quite expressive in that way. Oh, something. Gym. So this is someone who likes to work out. Didn't I say that? Yeah, they had that Mars energy coming through, right? Chariot. They're very fit. We'll get a couple more cancer. boss authority figure of some sorts helpful <laughs> loves children at the bottom of the deck they'll want children with you for sure now it's up to you if you want that with them but boss yeah remember the venmo activities yeah it's right here finances are quite important and i think they were the page of pentacles in their current energy but I think 
that may be their current energy that we're picking up on. So it may be that they, you know, once you meet, they were the Ten of Pentacles temperance or King of Pentacles energy. So they'll step into a position of authority is what I'm getting. Leadership qualities coming through. And we have helpful. So yeah, this is someone who may even help you with some practical matter or money even. They can help you financially, but just a generous, helpful, compassionate person who likes to do good. And, you know, if they see someone else that needs their help, they, they'll go out of their way to do that. So that's beautiful. They are sensitive deep down with Pisces, but sometimes they don't like to show that. <laughs> Maybe because they don't want it to be taken advantage of really depends on the situation but yes cancer that is what i have for you hopefully this was helpful if you enjoyed this reading do like and comment otherwise take care of yourself and i will see you later bye